Go. Okay, um, right. Peter, we were talking about your, your experiences with um, class blowing. Uh, what was the next steps? Where did it take you? How did it take you to, to casting? That's, a, that's a, a, an interesting question because I really loved making my double growls, especially the double growls are very dear to me and the very early work, which is uh, mostly inspired by um, uh, uh, religious uh, objects. And um, what, what, I, what happened was I went to the Antarctic okay. on a square rig at three master. And uh, for three weeks, we were at sea between the icebergs and uh, I was doing dog watch. So I was on 12 to four uh, in the daytime and 12 to four at night. Uh, but of course it didn't get completely dark. And I slept about three hours a day because it was so exciting. I couldn't even sleep when I went to bed. And I got all these ideas and I was so inspired and I, I came back and um, uh, five days later, so I came, I came back from Ushuaia and five days afterward, I, I took a plane to England to go work with Neil Wilkin. And I had sketches and you know my little scribbles. And um, basically we worked for one week and it was my most frustrating, um, workshop that i that i've had okay because for, of all the pieces we made i think i kept five okay and we made probably 30 in that week the rest okay. of that was all gone i just I, I just broke it and the reason was that all the impressions were so fresh they weren't transformed yet so i was bouncing like a rubber ball, you know, the, these wonder balls that bounce yeah. as hard as you, if you throw them. Well, I, I was like that kind of a ball. I was going round and round and round in circles and just, I, I couldn't contain myself. And I had to learn that for me to create is the equivalent of an espresso machine, which <laughs> means uh, you, you, you put it in the water, you put it in the coffee, and you put the pressure on, it drips out. For me, it's the same. You, you give me the inspiration, I get the inspiration, I have the ideas, I want to bring it all together, but it has to take time to sip out drop by drop, you know, sculpture by sculpture. So I didn't touch the whole Antarctic idea for the next six months, just thought about it. Um, then, when we started doing the, the growl and double growl uh, Antarctica inspired pieces, after a while, even though they, they, they were pretty cool, I, I loved them, I thought they were very good, but after a while, I realized I couldn't blow, mm -hmm. or the team couldn't blow an iceberg. Okay. And being a sculptor by, by um, unfinished education, <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I decided to basically start sculpting again. And uh, I made my first body of work. I had 21 sculptures. It took me, I would say about a year and a half, maybe two years of work. Uh, with Zdeniek Lohotsky and his team in the Czech Republic. And um, I found my way, I learned about casting, that there are things that you can do in, in blown glass, like mixing colors that you can't do, it certainly couldn't at the time, in cast glass. And um, then we, <laughs> we decided we had to do an exhibition of these 21 um icebergs these completely different series so we created a dvd and send that out to all the um collectors that we had that the gallery had in the list uh, we, we sent out about three thousand dvds oh wow and um i had my opening before the opening 
I gave a lecture with slides of the Antarctic and I couldn't believe what happened next. We had a sellout. We sold all pieces within two weekends. We Great. sold 19 Great. the first weekend and we sold the other two the next weekend. Okay, Peter, I'm gonna send you to the Antarctic. Let's do this again. <laughs> 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 That's so well, you wouldn't be the only one who still wants me to make ice.